Now, the question of where foreign money goes when it hits the North Korean financial system is one experts have a tough time answering with any degree of real confidence. South Korea's unification minister claimed recently, as we just heard, that 70% of wages South Korea pays to North Korean workers at Kaesong went to pay for the regime's nuclear and missile programs. Now, it's hard to prove, but most agree that it is the regime, not the long-suffering North Korean people that sees most of the incoming capital. Ji Myung Gil reports on one possible cash route. It's believed that some 70 percent of the money that flows into the Kaesong Industrial Complex has been funneled to support the ruling Workers' Party of Korea. There are two organizations that handle this. If we take a look, one is Room 39, which is the code name for a highly secretive bureau that manages leader Kim Jong-un's personal coffers and slush funds. It's estimated to bring in anywhere between $500 million to $1 billion annually and is linked to illegal activities like the production of counterfeit bills, international insurance fraud and drugs. The other organization is the ruling Workers' Party Secretariat, headed by Kim Jong-un's younger sister, Kim Yo-jong. She runs both Room 39 and the top secretariat and is likely the only person trusted to do so. North Korean experts believe that covertly they're responsible for funding weapons developing and other projects that glorify Kim's regime. That also means buying extravagant gifts for Kim's ardent supporters. Choi Jong-un was a political officer for North Korean People's Army until he fled the regime in 2007. Room 39 runs the regime's state coffers. All important budgets are allocated from there. It's obvious that money from K-Songs controlled by this bureau and also funds the development of nukes and missiles. Every month before payday, millions of dollars in cold hard cash would deliver by van from South Korea to the Uri Bank branch that was located in the industrial complex in the north. South Korean Kaesong firms would then withdraw the money from the bank and deliver it to the North Development Bureau, which oversees the complex. North Korea is a communist state that manages every aspect of their citizens' lives. Therefore, the regime would instead issue special checks for workers every month, possibly enough to cover everyday necessities. North Korea is a communist state, so individual salaries must first be transferred to the state's bureau account. As workers' salaries have increased every year, the regime's profits have also definitely increased. Since 2004, there have been 5 percent salary hikes every year for North Korean Kaesong workers. Until now, a total of $505 million are presumed to have been funneled into the regime's top office, with some $330 million of that used to fund nukes and missiles. Chim Young-git, Arirang News.